Hi everyone, Chris Hansen here, Senior Solutions Consultant at Adobe, and I'm here to tell you about one of the latest additions to Premiere Rush, and that is Auto Reframe. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on the new pan and zoom feature in Premiere Rush, have a look at it right here. Or is it over, or is it over here? But today we're gonna to be talking about the Auto Reframe feature in Premiere Rush. Now this was a feature that was first introduced in Premiere Pro and that basically gives you the ability to reframe the subject in a video in accordance to the aspect ratio that you need your video for. We're talking about social channels such as Facebook, Instagram, so your vertical videos, your square videos, whether that's 9x16 or 4x5 videos. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here I am in Premiere Rush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. Now I'm going to choose the video that I need. So this is the one here, I have it saved on my desktop and we're just going to click on this. Before I do this part, I'm actually going to bring the video in as is. Right, so let's take a look at what we got here. We've got a skier, he's going side to side. If we were to put this in a different orientation, it would be really tough to track that subject because he's going from side to side, left to right. That's something that we're gonna have to take into consideration. So let me just bring your attention to this panel here. And I mentioned this in my previous video. It's now called the effects panel and transitions live inside this, as you can see here. And this is pan and zoom, which I did in a previous video. But this is auto reframe. Now, as you can see here, it automatically keeps the most important part of your shot in the frame, and that's the subject. So we've got here this skier, who is the most important part in this frame. The first thing I need to do is change the sequence aspect ratio. Let's just go for a nine by 16, because he moves from side to side. Now let's just watch that, the way that it is without reframe on. So you can see, he goes left to right, goes completely off the shot there. And then as he keeps going, goes a bit off there as well, and he's off, and he's gone. The cameraman did quite a good job anyway, but you can see he's completely gone off course there. So let's go back to the start and let's run reframe. I'm just gonna click on this right here, and automatically, you can see the purple bar, it's gonna reframe it for me. If I wanted to, you see here I've got a couple of options here. I can go for a slower motion tracking or a faster one, or just a, just a plain old default one. So we'll stay with default for now. I'm just gonna hit play, and let's just have a look at what it's done. It's done a pretty good job. It's following him in those sections. Yeah, he doesn't go off screen there. There are some sections here where he does go off screen and, and I can actually adjust that frame. So let's just find the moment he goes off screen. So about here, I'm just gonna adjust that frame. Just gonna move this along. I'm just gonna hit apply. I might have to do a bit of a faster motion track here. So I'm just gonna apply that now because he moves from side to side, it's quite quick. So now that we've applied the faster motion tracking, it's pretty much done an even better job than the default. So it's just a matter of finding the right one in order to get the best performance. Now, one of the great things is you can actually click on this new cog feature right here and auto reframe mismatch clips right from here. So if I click on that, I can now choose which one that I want. Now if I click OK, go ahead and click create, we're gonna see that media prepared for us. So you can see here with the purple line that's going straight across, it's already reframing our video and I haven't even changed anything in here already. So by hitting play, you can see that it's already applied the effect right before I get into the project to start my edit and that's auto reframe essentially getting you to the finish line faster by using premiere rush and the machine learning embedded into all of the adobe products and that is adobe sensei so guys if you like the video just like it and if you want to see some more videos hit subscribe that's it and i'll see you in the next video and remember never stop creating